Hi, I'm Tracy Anderson, fitness expert for AOL. You may know me as the creator of the Tracy Anderson Method. I created the method because I actually needed it myself. I went to school for dance and gained 35 pounds at school for dance. So I learned at a very young age that you can move and move and move and you may not be able to achieve the body that you actually desire. So I have spent the last 15 years researching, testing and creating tools for people to have their most balanced body. I have four studio locations, I have authored a book, and I have produced over 160 fitness DVDs to help support people at home on their fitness journey. I'm going to share with you a few tips on how to approach my newest DVD that I just released, which is a dance aerobics DVD called Unleash Your Inner Pop Star. In the beginning, you may want to dance like no one's watching, but in the end, you're going to want to dance like everyone's watching, and that will actually help you burn even more calories once you're ready to perform. So my tips are really, don't be afraid of the word dance and aerobics together because it's actually important and it actually helps you create more balance, use your brain more, connect to your bodies more. We're programmed to want to move to music, so it's really, it's really fun. And, and it's, it's kind of a rush when you learn the combinations. You're like, I know this dance and I'm doing it. Second, it burns a lot of calories because you are asking your brain to participate. You're doing a lot of weight transfers. It's kind of like boxing in the respect that you, you have to pay attention. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have to be slow with yourself. You have to be patient. You're not gonna be able to do all of the dances at once. You're also not gonna be able to do 60 minutes of cardio right away. And it's actually okay if you don't even get to any jumping initially. If you just learn the dances slowly in a breakdown kind of setting, step by step, maybe half of one combination one day, not even up to speed jumping, the next day the other half, and actually when you sleep on patterns, the day that you're learning it, you may be frustrated, but after you've slept on it, the next day when you return to it, it's actually kind of sunk in. I really believe in showing up for yourself and carving out time for your fitness routine and not letting that be the first thing on your schedule that you wipe out. Because if you don't show up for yourself and you don't take care of yourself, then it's really, it sounds a little cliche, but if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of other people properly. And when you're not connecting to your body and you're not connecting to your health, a lot builds up. The last tip is that I would be very careful about reading or getting information about if you do an exercise for this amount of time, you're gonna burn this amount of calories and then eating against that. The truth is, is that we all burn calories differently. So we, we could all be doing the same movements for the same amount of time and the amount of calories spent for each person would be drastically different. The proper approach is to get good at something. Let your endurance build, let the time of it build. You don't need to exercise more than an hour, six days a week. So once you get really good at performing something and you perform it for an hour, then your body's going to be able to, it likes consistency. And so it's going to be able to say, you know what, I can count on this. And then what you work on improving is not the length of time that you do it, it's the quality of how you do the movement. Once you perform dance aerobics, like I can perform dance aerobics, you're gonna be burning a fierce amount of calories, which is really liberating because I happen to like food a lot. A lot. So it's great to be able to do something that's healthy for your body and emotionally be able to have more freedom with food where it's not affecting your health. I'm Tracy Anderson. For more of my videos, visit AOL.com.